and gentlemen, hello and welcome along to part two in our mini-series exploring the design and the development of the latest generation Class Zerian 12 series tractor. In this episode, you find us in Harzwinkel. So what we are going to do in this episode, we are going to get a little bit of history about the tractor, how it came to fruition in the first place. Then we're going to see where the tractor is actually built and then we're going to get a first little, I suppose you could say, a little bit of a flavour of the tractor on the test track. So all that to come in this episode. So I must introduce our guest, which is Johannes Weisbrot. Uh, Johannes, first of all, uh, what's your job? What do you do here? <laughs> what's my job? Uh, I would say, uh, out of my opinion, I have the best job here because I'm responsible for the Xerion at class. So everything what belongs to the Xerion from R&D production, taking care of our customers is under my responsibility and I think that's why we are here today. Good stuff. So you are Mr. Xerion. Exactly. Cool. Right. Well, be before we get to your baby, the Xerion, and the Helmet Classes baby, yeah. we should say, let's have a little bit of background about Harzwinkel yep. and what you do here. And to do that, ladies and gents, we're going to move on through here uh, because it pretty much just shows off everything that you guys produce here. So just tell us a little bit about Harzwinkel and the site. Yeah, here we are here in Harzwinkel. It's uh, the headquarter of uh, the class in total. And um, here basically that's where, where everything started and uh, where also still our, our biggest factory is. So in Haselwinkel we produce all our Lexion and Trion combines. Yeah. We produce here our uh, world market leader, the Jaguar forage harvesters. That's it. Is it 50% global market share? Yes, it is yeah. roughly around that. Uh, so we are very proud of that. Absolutely. And then last but not least, what we also do in Haselwinkel is producing the Xerion. And also here we have all the R&D for our combines, for our forager and for, for the Xerion as well. So right, so that there is a lot that goes on here. Yes, it's a busy place, especially here, as I said, we, we have quite uh, good market shares on combines, on forages. So uh, we try to keep uh, our factory busy and uh, develop a lot of good and new stuff for our customers. Absolutely. So we've just seen a lot of the new things. Yeah. I mean, coming through here, this is history heaven for machinery geeks such as yeah, myself. Exactly it is. And here we are. This is, this is the first one, is it? That's really the, the first, uh, what we would call Xerion. This is actually the first one which came to life. It was called the Project 207. Right. Um, and there is really a lot of in what we still see today on a Xerion. Yeah. yeah. It has already a turnable or movable cap. So this had it even at this point, even on this. Oh, there yeah. you go, yeah, you can see. Even here, we had a door at the back to step in when it was in reverse position. And yeah. There was a, a combine or sugar beet harvester on top. Uh, it had already the two steered axles, equal sized tires, engine in the front, full frame chassis. So there was quite a lot already in that. Yeah. And, uh, you really set the concept with this and you've carried it through pretty much most of it through to yeah, today. I, I, I would say we pretty much carried the concept through but from the, from the DNA, how we would say, yeah. it's still the idea what Helmut Klaas had in the well, early years I was going to say, about what, Xerion. What was his dream? What was his dream tractor? Uh, Helmut Klaas, he dreamed of, first of all, his own tractor. And uh, in, in the beginning, in this times, he had the idea that a tractor is a, a multi-purpose machine and not in, in the way mm. we would now look at a tractor that is doing cultivating, seeding, yeah. spraying. He also came from his idea, a combine is used six weeks a year and then you park it in, in the shed for, for the rest of the year. And he wanted to have a, a concept where you can utilize the, the base machine throughout the 12 year, month cycle yeah. and then you just change your equipment. You can take it uh, to plow, you can take it as a, with a cedar, but you could also put a combine or sugar beet That's harvester it. or a forager on top. Have something on the front, something on the back, something yeah. on top, so yeah. here, there and everywhere. Like I say, it's a systems tractor. Uh, yeah, I think Helmut Klaas would be proud that 
his original idea of the Xerion is still available today and uh, still living and uh, convincing customers all around the world. Yeah, and you know, before Helmet unfortunately passed on, did he get to see the final designs for the new 12 series? Did he get to sign that off? He, he, he didn't see the, the, the real, the first prototypes he unfortunately couldn't right. see anymore, but he he was really deeply involved still in the in the concepts which yeah. led to it and he was still fighting here we need to find a <laughs> we really no, need to find a solution keeping. we need to keep this and uh, here at the end uh, he always gave us this challenge yeah. and challenge your concepts again and i don't believe that Just there is push, no way push, push, push. and uh, here we all still remember the day when we came to him and say here we think we found a solution we think we've got it and we got it and he was really smiling and uh, here we go forward that's what i want and then uh, i remember it was i don't know three years ago it was really close before he passed away uh, we made a little uh, 3D print on how it uh, could look like. Yeah. Because he had at the end little problems with his eyes. So okay, he so we could really, feel it. So he could feel it. Right. And we printed it. Yeah. And uh, uh, so to give him an, yeah, an give idea, him an idea. How, how it yeah. would look like in, in reality. Yeah. yeah. So going back to this then, what year would this have been then, the Project 207? It was in the late 80s, around 90s. Right. And uh, the, the first uh, Xerion we brought to market uh, was uh, around 1997. Right. So we celebrated last year 25 years of Xerion uh, in our customers' hands. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So we'll move on from this 280 horse beast, I think this was, was it? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll move on from that. We're just going to slide on through quickly, through here. And as if by magic, here it is, the brand new one. So we saw this for the first time at Agritechnica. We had a good walk around it then. Um, yeah, just talk about that 25 year jump from <laughs> there to there. Talk us through some of the evolution. Uh, here for sure there was something in between, between 280 horsepower in a more concept vehicle and that what we see today. Uh, as I said, we, ha we brought 1997, we brought the first Xerons to the market. It was at this time called the Xerion 2500. Yeah. And then it continued with, uh, I think what's also very uh, popular um, in many markets was the Xeron 3300, three, 3800, yeah, yeah. and yeah. that was really popular. That's where we really started to increase also our production volume, where we found more and more customers. And here, yeah, what we just discussed, where really this system tractor uh, was in. Uh, mm. We had this uh, three versions, the track with the fixed cabin in the middle, the track with the, with the turnable cab, and then also the saddle track. And then uh, we started, uh, or we showed on Agritechnica 2009, the first Xerion 5000, which uh, was at this time the first tractor on the market with more than 500 horsepower and the uh, CVT gearbox. Yeah. Um, and then in 2013, we added the new generation of this, also here with 4,000, uh, 4, 4,500, 5,000 Xerion. Yeah, and uh, we kept this one running, and then yeah, year after year, you think, what, what's what next? What can we do? What, what can, we, can do? we do? Where can we push this? Customers are growing in size, uh, time frames are getting shorter. Uh, and then at the end, uh, we came to the conclusion that it would be wise to have a Xerion with, with even more horsepower. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what we are standing here now. It's a Xerion 12 series, 12.650, uh, with 650 horsepower. Uh, what we bring now uh, to the market and where we are really proud of that we made this huge step. Great stuff. So while we're studying here, let's just get a couple of facts and figures before we move on. Yeah. Uh, nothing too in depth just yet because we've still got loads more to come. Yeah. But let's just get a few facts and figures. So 12 series. Yeah. How many models are in your 12 series? So we have uh, uh, two models. It's a 12590 with yeah. 590 horsepower and a 12650 with then 650 horsepower. And we have them uh, both in wheel versions and track versions. Right. We'll leave it there for now, ladies and gents, because we've got a lot to pack in. Like I say, we're heading to the production line next, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, and then we are just going to get a little glimpse of this tractor 
around one of the uh, test tracks uh, before we then move on to part three in the UK and get a proper hands-on session with this new tractor. So, Johannes, we'll leave it there for now yeah. and we will move on. Yeah.